The rollout of Pfizer booster shots continues this weekend across the country. The CDC director authorized third doses for people 65 and up, anyone in long-term care facilities, people with certain medical conditions, and some high-risk jobs. But health officials are stressing more needs to be done to end this pandemic. Some progress in the U.S.'s fight against COVID-19. Average daily cases are at a low not seen since early August, but the battle is far from over. Funeral homes are out of storage. Our hospitals are out of storage. It's just become quite a mess. According to the CDC, about 64% of eligible people in the U.S. are now fully vaccinated. While some Americans have already had a third shot, more than 70 million eligible Americans have yet to roll up their sleeves for the first time. We're seeing people not getting vaccinated, even though vaccines will save their life. It's really unfortunate because at this point, the data are so clear. The evidence is so overwhelming. Health officials say getting a potentially life-saving shot should not be a political issue. This isn't Democrat or Republican. This is life and death. And when have we gotten to the point where we are so determined to either be a red state or a blue state versus saving lives. CDC Director Dr. Rochelle Walensky says the booster shots will help, but they will not give the U.S. the upper hand on the virus. Infections among the unvaccinated continue to fuel this pandemic, rise, resulting in a rising number of cases, hospitalizations, and deaths. Now, booster shots have not yet been approved for the Moderna and the Johnson & Johnson vaccines, but that could be coming soon. Federal authorities have not authorized the mixing of vaccines.